Hi, my name is Brandon Blizzard, and I've always been a, a craftsman and a builder and a maker of things. I went to school for sculpture and 3D animation, but I really didn't see companies lining up to hire sculptors. So I figured I was gonna make my living using my computer skills. For about the past six years, I've been a 3D artist and visual effects supervisor here in San Francisco. I love 3D and visual effects, and I love the things you can do with them, but I sort of yearn for doing physical things. Um, it's sort of how my mind works, basically. When I was a little kid, I would take apart every one of my toys. I'm driven to understand how things work. My mother used to find my G.I. Joes with their heads and their arms swapped. Anything with a screw was not safe. So slowly I've been trying to work these physical projects into my job here. At first I was building tracking markers and green screen props and stuff like that. My first big project was this matrix style camera array that would take 36 DSLRs and fire all at once so you could sort of capture a moment in time and when you play them back in a row it would look like you're have frozen time and were able to move through that space. I also designed the calibration system that um, is really vital for consistent focus and stabilization. Uh, I built a fire control system that uses an Arduino to compensate for the minute timing differences in the shutter release. So each camera sort of, when you press the trigger, will fire slightly different and we um, ran them through some calibration and sort of found the average for each camera and were able to take that and offset its shutter release time so that all the cameras would release within this 15 millisecond window. This is where I really learned to solder. Um, I probably spent 30-35 hours soldering transistors into this grid and um, headphone jacks to connect them all together. Now I can do these flea size SMD components with no sweat. Well, a little bit of sweat. <laughs> The most recent project that I did was um, this stabilized iPad POV mount. One of our creative directors came to me wanting to achieve this look with a, a guy using um, an iPad app while walking through an office. The iPad is locked in the center of the screen um, and traditionally uh, you'd shoot the iPad on a green screen um, and comp in the background, but I had an idea where um, to make a, a rig that would let you do this all in camera. So in about an evening, I used uh, a 3D printer and an old broom handle and I made uh, a very rigid um, rig that would hold a GoPro in front of an iPad um, that would actually hide the armature. So uh, even though the iPad is in the center of the screen floating, the guy's arm is holding it and you can't see the, the thing holding up the camera. Later I made an uh, adjustable version that was heavy duty enough to carry a DSLR but still use with one hand with the help of a Steadicam vest. I got my hands on a 3D printer about a year and a half ago. We actually bought it for a prop for an Intel spot and I was tasked with getting the printer working and having it perform on set. I sort of went bananas through it. Uh, I was printing 24-7, um, sleeping and waking up to start new prints in the middle of the night. I probably pumped 20 pounds of filament through this thing before the printer finally gave up the ghost. My mechanical ability mixed with my modeling skills uh, is a perfect fit for 3D printing. I've since built my own printer, bigger, faster, quieter. I've converted a mill to CNC. I'm slowly sort of putting together a shop in my garage. Making is like a fire inside me and I'm looking to get doused with gasoline. Also, I have amusing facial hair. <laughs> Thanks very much for listening.